Welcome, welcome, welcome. What's up, guys? Me, Proto Buffers, and today we're going to be talking about CS Safe by Hacker Smash. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is head down into the description. You will see that there is currently no releases. However, you can download the raw zip folder, so just go ahead and do that. So, here we're going to be going over the Win64 version. So, I apologize if you are on Linux or Mac. So, really quick, we're just going to go over everything that we have. We have the CS Safe GUI, which does not work. The CS Safe menu, which just allows you to use some of the other features a little faster however it does not work 100% of the time on newer versions of saves it will not work so if you're on an older version definitely try it the item lookup test you do not need to worry about as well as the DLL files this is just to make sure that it runs on Windows profile generate is not needed for you and this is also another behind the scene profile to proto will allow you to take a profile save and convert it into a proto profile pack is another behind the scenes no need to worry proto to profile will allow you to convert your proto saves to a profile save proto to save will allow you to make a proto into a character save read save header is behind the scenes save convert is for converting saves between a pc and encrypted ps4 save generate is a another behind the scenes save to proto is a way to convert your character saves into a proto file and save unpack is again behind the scenes so the first thing you want to do is hold right shift and then right click and open PowerShell window here, which is a Windows only feature. So once you have your PowerShell open, go ahead and type in and. As every command, we'll have to start with this. So the first thing that we're going to do is convert some saves into the proto versions. All you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and drag and drop the whatever to proto in. Then we're gonna drag the save itself and just hit enter. Now you have a new 10.save.proto, which you can open with HXD and edit it that way. However, if you are using a PlayStation 4 save that is encrypted, you will need to specify what kind of save it is. So just go ahead and type in 3 at the end and it will come out normal. And again, same for the profile. All we're going to have to do is drag in the profile to a proto. Hit space, drag in the profile save and hit enter. Then we will get the profile that saved that proto output file. That can also be edited in HXD or any other kind of hex editor. Now for building those saves back, what you're going to want to do is just drag the proto to profile or save in and just drag in the PC save or decrypted PlayStation 4 save. If you drag in a decrypted PlayStation 4 save, make sure to hit space and then three. However, this is not so just hit enter. Now getting into the save convert file, this will allow you to swap between PC decrypted PS4 saves. So just go ahead and drag that in in your safe and now we're going to rename the file to whatever we want so we're just going to do 10 decrypted playstation saves will not have a dot save extension so make sure to keep that in mind so since we're putting in a pc save and outputting a playstation core decrypted save what we're going to do is type one for the pc save and three for the output of the playstation 4 save and the same goes for the profile just name your profile profile with no extension it is coming from a PC save, so what we're going to do is use the extension 2 to specify that it is a PC profile save and then the output as a decrypted PlayStation 4 save, so we're going to do 4. As far as CS save goes, it's pretty basic, very simple, straightforward, very easy to use. Most of it just comes down to editing the proto save, so that's completely up to you if you want to do that. It is a risk worth taking if you know what you're doing however i highly wouldn't suggest doing it i personally just use this tool to convert my pc saves to my ps4 if you did find this helpful make sure to share it like it watch the video again in 0.25 percent speed to help me get more views and i'll see you later